Hey guys, what's up? So I'm gonna be finishing my tier list video that I did last time. So as as you can tell, um, there's a lot of skins. I totally forgot that there's this many skins in um, Smash, right, in this tier list. So that that's kind of odd to me, um, how many skins they put separately, especially Sans. Like, I mean, I get it, I, I guess for the meme, I don't know. So anyways, here we go. First thing I'm gonna go with is Samus and Dark Samus. So Samus, I'm going to put in B tier. I'm gonna put them above Puff, just because of the fact that I think they're not the worst character in the game. They're a lot, um, if you know how to play them, they're a lot like how Shulk plays. He's really good, but only if you know how to use him. I might consider putting her into A tier, only if you, I don't know. I mean, I haven't seen much Samus, so I can't say much. I'm a, I'm a thrower in B tier though, just because I feel like B tier is a good place because she's not better than Zero Suit. I don't think, uh, I think Zero Suit Samus is way better than normal Samus. So I, I think they have a comfortable position just right here, Samus and Dark Samus. I'm gonna put Samus, Dark Samus one higher than Samus actually, because uh, she can combo better. Is, is it a she? I, I don't know. I know this is a she, but it, it, I don't know. I'm not sure um, how the copying thing worked. I don't know. I haven't played Metroid um, Prime, so I don't know. But anyways, next character we're gonna go on to is Diddy Kong. I'm gonna put Diddy Kong straight in C tier. I'm gonna put him probably above Banjo. No, above Banjo. Um, just because of the fact that he's fast, he's good. He's a lightweight character, but he's not the best lightweight character to play. If you're gonna play Diddy Kong, and you're gonna play lightweight character, then just play a different character. I mean, Diddy Kong is just that kind of guy that you, you he's better in Smash 4, even after the nerfs, but I don't really think that you should play Diddy Kong at all. But if you like Diddy Kong or you have an attachment to how he plays, then keep playing him. I mean, he's a good character. He's just not amazing. He's not going to be in B tier anytime soon, in my opinion. So next character we're going to go with is Mr. Game & Watch. Mr. Game & Watch, I'm probably going to put in C tier. I think this is kind of a pretty obvious pick. I'm going to put him probably below. No, I'm going to put him above Pit. And yeah, I'm going to put him above Pit, maybe above Crom. No, I'm going to put him below Crom. Um... Mr. Game Watch has the RNG aspect. He's a really good character for beginners to play. But overall, he's not a great advanced character. His movements are kind of slow. He's kind of that... I mean, he's literally the Game & Watch, like, guy. So, of course, he's going to move slower. He's going to move at, like, you know, that little thing that he does, like, one frame per second type of thing, the walk. That doesn't make him slow, but it makes him a little more readable. And so, personally, I just think... I think he's not that great. I haven't seen that many great Game & Watch players in a while. I've seen sweaty ones, but they're not that good. So yeah, um, that's kind of what I think about Game & Watch. Next thing I'm going to move on to is probably Donkey Kong. Um, if you remember Donkey Kong, uh, I, I said last time that I'm not a huge fan of Donkey Kong. However, I'm probably going to put him at the top of D tier. Just because he's not the worst, he has the grab to throw off edge. He has a lot of good strings that you can pull off. He has um, Ding Dong back on Small Battlefield, I believe, unless they got rid of that, I don't know. But I think overall, Donkey Kong is a pretty good character. I wouldn't tell you to play him. He is definitely not average. He is definitely below average. He's not that good of a character. But he's not amazing either. He's not going to be S tier. He's not going to be A tier or B tier, even C tier in my opinion for a long while. Unless for some reason he gets a buff, then he might be over here. But yeah, anyways, next character we're going to move on to. I want to talk about Wario. Wario just got a nerf recently with his up tilt and um, I believe it was his neutral air. I don't remember. Um... I'm gonna put him in S tier still though, probably above Daisy and Peach, just because I feel like he's a good character, but he's not someone that, I mean, well, no, he's he's really good. He's a really good character. I think anybody should play him, but I wouldn't recommend playing him if that makes sense. Um, I don't think he's the best S tier, but I don't think he's the worst either. I feel like S tier, if you're going to recommend an S tier, I would recommend someone like Pokemon Trainer or Snake. I definitely wouldn't recommend Wario. Wario isn't uh, one of the best S tiers. However, he is a really good character in the game. If you, if you know how to play him, you learn how to play him. Um, he's really good. His motorcycle is a really good side B for the recovery, even not for the recovery. Uh, his up B is pretty alright. It's not the best in the game, but it's not worse. It's pretty mid. It's pretty average. Overall, the character's pretty alright. His chains go into each other. You know, he has, he has a couple nice chains, a couple combos that I like. I think overall, if you're gonna play an S tier, don't play Wario, but that's my opinion. Wario's not a bad character, though, however. I think he's a really good character, and if you want to play him, then go ahead. He's not bad. Alright, next character I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about is Ike. Now, my friend means Ike. 
And um, from what I see, I mean, he's not great. He just started Smash, though, so... I don't know. I'd, I'd, I'd probably say Ike is a solid B tier. He's not terrible, but he's bottom B tier. If he's anything, he's like bottom B tier or high C tier. In my opinion, Ike isn't the best sword fighter. He's really slow. However, he hits a lot and he has a lot of good chains, but this means that you have to be good at the character. Now, I would say that he's a really fundamentally based character. So if you're starting to play Smash, I would definitely recommend Ike. But that's when you got the fundamentals down, so I'd probably recommend like someone like Mario first. Uh, I don't know, Mario. Or, I don't know, uh, Cloud or something like that. So, yeah, talking about Mario, we're gonna put Mario up there. We're gonna put him in S tier. I'm gonna put him above Shulk under Pokemon Trainer. I think this is a pretty popular opinion when it comes to Mario, and I totally agree with it. He's a really good character. He is one of the best characters in the game, and I think he always will be one of the best characters in the game. Um, for Ultimate, at least. Um, for other games, I'm not really sure. I haven't studied the tier list too much. But pretty much for Mario, I'd say his combos are good. Um, his up air is really big. Not really big, but it's it's good. It comes out fast. A lot of his attacks comes out uh, come out fast, you know. I think, uh, again, if you're going to play an S tier, Mario is definitely one of them that you should pick up. Um, he's one of the better characters in the game. He's in, I would say, the top, like, five, uh, like, minimum. So overall, I would definitely recommend playing Mario, but if you have another preference for an S tier, I totally understand. Um, but I think that Mario is overall, in general, a pretty good character. Um, next character I'm going to go with is Meta Knight. I'm probably going to put Meta Knight in, put him in B tier. Mm, no, I think he's a C tier. He's a solid C now. I'd put him, like, above Game & Watch. He's not the best sword fighter in the game. I don't know if you want to call him a sword fighter, though, because his range is pretty small. Um, overall, he's not a bad character, but he's not a great character. He's kind of that mid character. I feel like he's kind of self-explanatory. Uh, he's not what he used to be in Brawl. So, yeah, that's pretty much my thoughts on Meta Knight. Not too much to talk about there. Next thing we're going to talk about is Ice Climbers. Just played against an Ice Climbers like two seconds ago. Uh, not a huge fan. Not a huge fan of Ice Climbers um, either way, good or bad. I think C tier, bottom of C tier, is a solid place to put them at. Because they're really slow, however they hit a lot, they hit for a lot for a light character. But again, they're a light character if you separate Nana from Popo or whatever, you know what I mean. The two from each other, then they can't recover, they can't do a lot of stuff that they can do. It's a really lacking ability um, just to have them separated. I wouldn't recommend playing them just because of the fact that they... Um, they they are two characters in one, so it's double the damage, but if you lose your wife, right, you're pretty much dead. So, wouldn't recommend playing Ice Climbers at all. Next character, Lonk. I would definitely put Link in probably B tier or C tier. Probably put him in, I'd probably put him in B tier at top of B tier, though. Like, he deserves to be at the top of B tier. I think he is, like, the best B tier character. And I would only say this because Link isn't the best sword fighter, but he's definitely not the worst. He's not someone like Ike, he's actually fast, um, he's got a lot of good projectiles, he's got a good recovery, got a good upbeat on stage, you know, his little spinny thing, especially the Breath of the Wild form. I feel like he's improved a lot from Smash 4, but overall, he's not the best character in the game to play, I definitely wouldn't recommend playing Lock. But next character, since we're talking about Link, Toon Link. I put Toon Link in B tier. I put him right below, mm, probably below Samus, no, not below Samus. No, this character isn't bad either. I don't know why people put him in C tier. I think that's kind of kind of dumb. Um, his down B, his bomb is really great. It's an impact bomb. Um, his arrows are good. Only thing that's not good is his down air, and it just send him downward. So, overall, I don't think Toon Link's the best Link, but I think he's one of the better ones. Now, moving on from that Link, we're going to talk about Young Link. Young Link, I'm going to put at the top of A tier. Um, now, I don't know if he'll, he'll say there. I'm going to have to see who else, you know goes over him or under him or whatever but he's really fast he's probably the best link to play he's got the fire arrows he's got the down b the bomb um doesn't explode on impact i don't believe i'm not sure about that one um his boomerang is pretty good his up air is pretty good he has a lot of good chains a lot of good combos he has a good grab he has the hook shot still so he can zare um a lot of just general good stuff with young link i think he's a pretty good character in general if you want to pick him up then definitely recommend it um, Incineroar is the next character, and he goes at E tier, bottom of, uh, no, not bottom of E tier, he goes at, like, right here, I'd say. Now, Incineroar's recovery is what makes him bad. That is the only thing that I think makes Incineroar bad. No, not really, because his side B, his side B is his only really good thing, and even then, you can easily read it, because he has at least, like, a 20 frame lag. Not even a 20, it comes out at, like, 40. 40 frame lag before it even comes out, I'm pretty sure, so... 
I don't know the exact stats on his frames for side B, so if I'm wrong, then okay, tell me. But, uh, you know, he's not a... He, I don't, I don't want to say... I mean, he's a pretty bad character. However, I'm going to say this again. If you want to play a character in Smash Ultimate, you can make it happen. Any character is playable in this game, and I mean that. Any single character. Any of the characters on this tier list, you can play. So, next character that we're going to talk about, I want to talk about Steve. He is a fairly recent character. So, Steve, I would probably put in... I want to see what... On the character page. Hopefully that, could, that didn't close my... Yeah, it didn't close it. Uh, Alright, let's see what we got here. Oh, just a wiki page. Alright. Well, so, I don't know if that will be copyrighted. I hope it won't. But here's Steve. Stav. We're going to put him in... I'm going to put him in, I'm gonna put him in C tier. I'm going to put him like... No. I might put him in bot. No. Like, maybe above Ike because he's still versatile, but he's not the best character just because of his mining ability, I'd probably put him at the top of C tier. Now, I'm not saying he's bad in any way, shape, or form. He is just a really mid character. I might put him in B, I'm not sure. I'm on the fence about this one. I don't know if I'd put him in B or C, but I'm, I'm gonna put him in C for now, just because I think uh, his mine card isn't great. He requires materials, which is a really good mechanic because he's a minecraft character but at the same time i mean come on he, he that's that's like a lack of ability that's a lack it's a lacking ability you don't want him in you don't want you don't you don't want to play a character that needs to do something every five seconds all right next character we're gonna go with uh, i kind of want to talk about you know hero let's talk about hero now, at the beginning of Hero's Lifespan, there was a huge controversy over whether he should be banned or not, and I disagree with the ban. I think that Hero is a fine character. I don't think he's anything too special. And put him in B tier. Put him at the top of B tier. Probably above Link, actually. Yeah. Or maybe below Link. Probably below Link, actually. Or maybe... I don't know. Probably below. Um, he's not the best character in the game. I'm gonna say it right now. He's not. Um, he's not the worst either. But I think his MP is what makes him lack going into A tier. And that kind of sucks, but at the same time, he's a very good character. He has the crit, which is a great ability to have, a great passive. And his aerials are just generally good. They hit for a lot. They have a lot of knockback. Knock back. They can, you know, if, if you hit him right, then you can chain, you can, you know, get a good a good combo going on. Overall, I'd say Hero is a solid, uh, solid B tier. So next character we got... Dr. Mario, I'm gonna put him in C, like bottom, bottom of C, just because of the fact, maybe even above Ice Climbers probably, because of the fact that he's not like normal Mario, um, when it comes to how he plays, uh, his down air is different, um, his down B is different, his neutral B is different, everything about him, this is like the one Echo, I don't know if they consider Dr. Mario an Echo, but if he is an Echo, it's the one Echo that's so different from their main counterpart, him and, um, what was the other Echo I was thinking about? Uh, which ones do we have left? We have... I don't even know if we have any Echoes left. There's one other Echo that I think is better than him, but I can't remember who it is. Basically, Dr. Mario overall isn't the best Mario. If you're gonna play Mario, play normal Mario. I don't know why you play Dr. Mario. Ouija is the next... No, not Min Min. Ouija is the next one we're gonna talk about, and I'm gonna put him in B tier. No, I'll put him in C tier at the top of C tier above Steve. Now, this is because I think Luigi has a lot of good combos, but he is not the best character. He is laggy. He has a lot of uh, things that don't hit right away, weird sour spots, weird RNG with his stuff, and overall, just not a great character to pick up if you're a beginner, but I keep talking about beginners and picking up characters. That's not what I'm judging off of. I'm mainly judging off of how I think, like, what their potential is. Overall, I don't see Luigi being the great combo man because you can read a lot of what he does. And his grab isn't good, especially with like the the um the the plunger thing. So I would say, yeah, solid solid C tier. Um, next character I'm gonna put up here is Pac-Man. Pac-Man. Yeah, I'm gonna put him in. I'm gonna put Pac-Man in a solid B or C. I don't know which one I want to do, just because of the fact that Pac-Man is. A character I don't like, but he's not that annoying, I guess. Um, put him in C tier, like, not nah, top. Like, put him below Diddy Kong. Um, he's really annoying, but he's not that great if you know how to, you know, go against... I, I'm not really sure what to say about Pac-Man. I don't like him, but he's still good. He's still an alright character to play. Alright, next character I'm gonna put on the list just to get him over with is Joker. 
As you know, he's my main. Um, he is the best character in the game, in my opinion. Not just because I main him, but because the best player in the world plays him. Um, his combos are insane. His chains are insane. His grabs, his grab combos, they're all really good. A lot of stuff that you just, you, you'd expect out of a uh, best character in the game, you know. Um, now, that being said, I think that that spot is definitely takeable by somebody else. Um, a lot of what Joker does could be done by somebody else. I think, honestly, um, and I, I don't know if I've talked about this before, but I really want Dante from Devil May Cry and Smash. And I feel like if he came to the game, he could maybe replace Joker. I'm not saying that I want him to. I mean, he could be C tier for all I care. He could be F tier for all I care. I'd still play him. But I think because Dante is just that kind of versatile character, because if you think about it, I, I think his moveset would um, imply something like Rebellion switching to like the fist things that he has. And he can switch weapons like mid game, I think. I think that'd be like a really good thing that could maybe take over Joker. But Crash could too if Crash comes to Smash. Um, any, any character really could take over Joker. But for now, I think Joker is solid S tier. Arsene is another point that I totally forgot about. Basically, I think this is the best character in the game. All right, next character I'm gonna talk about villager um i think villager is a solid i'm gonna put him in e mm, e e or c probably bottom of c pretty self-explanatory laggy not great readable same thing with isabelle i feel like isabelle and villager are pretty similar but i'm gonna put her above um ridley um zelda i think zelda is a pretty good character though uh she's probably like a c above not above yoshi no probably like above pac-man um, she's not a great pick, but she's not terrible either. She's pretty versatile. She's She was better when she had Sheik with her. That being said, we're going to put Sheik at the bottom of C. <laughs> now, the reason I put, him at, put her at the bottom of C is because I feel like Sheik is that one character that was really good in, um, Brawl and... Was, was she good in Brawl? I'm pretty sure she's good in Brawl. Was one of the best characters in Smash 4 and then just plummeted because they wanted to nerf her. Um... I don't think it was a smart choice. I think she was fine. But I think Joker is kind of the new Sheik character, I feel like. Um, I did play Sheik in Brawl, so I can totally see where that comes from. Um, Banjo-Kazooie. No, not Banjo. Why did I say that? Oh, my God. I, I'm going to sound so dumb now. It's a bird and a dog, right? Duck Hunt. <laughs> um, I'm going to put Duck Hunt in solid C tier. Um, I'm going to put him in right above probably Meta Knight, um, just because... The projectiles are good, and they're there, but it's not a great character to play. I might even consider putting him in D tier, but I don't know. Probably then bottom. I'd say, like, bottom of C. Um, Alright, next character, Sonic. Pretty self-explanatory. B. Put him above um, Ike. Fast. Pretty good. Fastest character in the game. Um, Pretty good combos. Nothing insane, though, because he can kill himself a lot like Little Mac does. Basically, Sonic is pretty good, but he's not the best character in the game. Ness. Uh, Ness, 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 thank you, Ness. Probably gonna put in C tier, um, below Duck Hunt. Mm, no, nah, not below Duck Hunt, he's good enough. Um, put him above, like, Meta Knight. I feel like Ness and Lucas are both around the same, if I can find Lucas, then, but Lucas is a little bit better because of his grab, because of how everything works except for his PK fire. I think the chain PK fire is a useless thing that people just freak out over. It's like, oh, I can't get out of it. It's like Bastion from Overwatch. Well, like Bastion from Overwatch, it's totally escapable. I mean, you literally just mash on the controller. Like, like mash on your stick. You, like, pretty much dash dance, and that's how you get out of it. And it's, it's not that bad. Um, it's not bad if you know how to get out of it, too. It's not bad if you know um, how to counter Ness. I feel like Lucas is better, though, because of his PK, uh, PK freeze is what he has, I think. Different than Ness, but yeah, whatever. Rob. Rob is a C tier. I don't know if you can put him in any other tier. I'm pretty sure he's a C tier, like, all the way. I put him above Diddy Kong just because he is pretty good. He's not a terrible character. I think these four are the ones I see in tournaments the most out of C tier. See a lot of Luigi, see a lot of Steve, see a lot of Yoshi, and see a lot of Rob. Um, next character, Min Min. I'd put Min Min in probably B tier. I've seen her a lot in A tier, but I'd probably put her in B tier. She's got a good range. No, probably an A tier. Probably like bottom of A. She's got a really good range, really good grab. Um, hits for a lot. Uh, light character also, so she's fast. Um, honestly, overall, I'd say Min Min's one of the best characters in the game, but not S tier. All right. Got a couple more here. Mega Man. I just finished playing Mega Man 2. 
Mega Man, I am going to put in B tier. I'm gonna put him uh, below below Hero, probably. Because he is definitely playable. He is one of the better characters in the game, not one of the best, but he is definitely one of the better characters because of his side B, his leaf shield, his the fact that he has all these abilities that has, like, a lot of them have elemental things, like his up smash has, like, the lightning, his forward, forward air, I think it is, has the fire. He's an overall just generally good character. I think that Mega Man is one of the better characters, but again, he's not one of the best. Falco and Fox. Uh, I feel like Fox is better. I feel like he's A tier. He's A tier above Min Min, but only because of the fact that he's insanely fast, and then I'd say Falco is probably B tier at the top. Now, Falco is only worse than Fox because he's not fast. And that's all I really have to say about the two. Um, they both have really good combos. They're both pretty self-explanatory. They've been good characters since Melee. I mean, and even 64, I think. Uh, Fox is pretty good. Um, Piranha Plant. Where do I put Piranha Plant? Um, probably put him in C tier. Maybe above Diddy Kong. Because I do see this in tournaments as well. But that doesn't mean that he's a good character. I'm just saying that I see this more than I see Diddy Kong. Um... Overall, Piranha Plant isn't terrible. I don't know, that's all I, that's all I really have to say about Piranha Plant. I don't really know much about him. Mewtwo, I haven't seen a lot of Mewtwo. I'm not even gonna lie, when it comes to Mewtwo, I haven't seen a lot of him. But what I've seen, I'd probably put him in B tier at the bottom, maybe C tier above, no, probably C tier, like mid C tier above Banjo. Maybe even above Pac-Man. Um, this is the point where things are gonna get complicated. Um, I don't think I don't think Mewtwo is like one of my favorite characters, but definitely not one of the worst characters either. Like, I don't know. Um, Mewtwo is just a solid C. I don't know where else I should put him. Uh, Greninja, I'd say the same thing about Greninja. I'd say like solid C, maybe even yeah, I'd say even like down here. Um, he tried to be Joker. That's what I'm gonna say. Or he tried to be Sheik. Or he tried to be Smash Four Sheik. That's what he tried to be. Um, Inkling, solid S. S tier all the way. Probably above Wario. Um, not above Snake, though. Great combos, great speed, great abilities. It's the type of versatility done right. Same as Pokemon Trainer. I just think that Inkling is a solid S. Um, Ken. But Ken, I might put Ken in A, but at the same time, I might put him in, like, B. I don't know why people put him in C, right? Um, I think, like, below, below Toon Link. And then Ryu, um, probably at bottom. No, I don't like Ryu... I don't want to put him at bottom of C, probably like mid. But then Kent, Kent's probably at the bottom of B. He's not better than Ike, but he's definitely a good character. And I know you're going to say, well, they're basically the same. Well, not really. I mean, th these are probably like the two. The, this is the two I was thinking about. These are the two Echoes that are completely different from each other. Almost. Um, when you say Echo, you don't think of Ken and Ryu. Um, Lucario, probably going to put in C. Like bottom of C, maybe even D. The top of D. Lucario is not a good character wouldn't recommend playing him. Uh, only thing that makes him good is his um, extended uh, rage. That's about it. If you know rage is, um, rage is this ability when you gain more percent, you do more knockback and more percent. So yeah, pretty much what I think about him. Um, me fighter, gunner, and sword fighter. Um, I'm gonna put, um, obviously these are versatile because you can definitely pick what you wanna do. So I have a hard time putting them anywhere besides bottom of C. These are the most solid bottom of C to D characters I've ever seen in my entire life. These three are like considered to be C tier or D tier. They're like both in like here, maybe even E tier. Some people put them out. I wouldn't put them that low though. They're definitely like useful, um, but I wouldn't recommend playing them. Olimar. I'd probably put Olimar at bottom of C because I don't see much of him and he's just not that good. Definitely not better than the, the me fighters, honestly. Um, I just think I think that what am I what am I doing, bro? What am I doing? Um, I think that Olmar is overall just not a great character. I don't think that he is he's one of the better characters in the game. But Olmar definitely isn't the worst. He's not the worst character. But he's not the best. I don't know if you get what I'm saying by that. Probably you do. I don't know. I don't know. I don't like I don't like Olmar. Lucina and Marth though, top of B, definitely top of B. I don't know why people say Marth sucks, because he's still one of the best characters in the game. Um, in my opinion, maybe, maybe, no, maybe, like, Lucina had, like, by a couple. But, Lucina's definitely better. I don't think Marth is trash, but I don't think he's great, so I'd probably put him in top of B. Alright, next character. Uh, we're gonna put Robin. In D. 
I don't think Robin's a good character. Uh, Robin has the, the, the Death Note things, the grimoires that are just kind of, they're not great. They just kind of fall out every time you use them. I don't know. I don't play Robin, but you know those little notebooks that you have, you just toss them around and they just go everywhere. You know, I mean, they're not good. I think they can use these projectiles though, but that's not the point. His literal sword, like his main weapon, has a limit that you can use it on. And you get like a weaker version after it runs out. That's stupid. That's one of the worst mechanics in a, in a fighting game, I think. But it still works with the rest of Smash, so it's all right. Roy, um, C tier, probably above Luigi. No, 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 honestly, A tier. Why did I say C? Why did I even say C? I think Roy, Roy's like bottom of A. He's a really good character, but he's not one of the characters I recommend you playing. He is definitely one of the better characters in the game, though. Um, Palantina is S, huge potential. Haven't seen much in competitive play, though. Um, a lot of good aerials, a lot of good other things. Uh, Pyramithra. At the time of this update, Pyramithra, in my opinion, is better than Mario. I think Pyramithra is definitely... Um, now, what I'm, what I'm going to do here is I'm gonna actually going to put Mithra ahead of Pyra. And actually, by a couple spots, I'm going to put Pyra. If you just play Pyra or you just play Mithra, I'm also going to put them in A. And the only reason I say that is because Pyra and Mithra, the entire reason why you should play both of them is because of the fact that you can change. That is the only reason that you should play Pyra Mithra, is the fact that you can change. To get the damage with Mithra and then kill with Pyra, or the other way around. I'd definitely recommend Mithra than Pyra, though. But you get what I'm saying when I say a lot of the game revolves around, like, I mean, look, look at the versatile characters, right? You got Pokemon Trainer. You got Pyra Mithra. Um, you got, what was the other one I was thinking of? Um, one where you can change it rid of Mega Man. Um, Mega Man's one of the better characters. Um, Shulk. I just think in general, if you're going to play a character, um, versatility is a great option. Um, I might say Joker and Sephiroth also fall into that category. So does Cloud, maybe? Um, but yeah, Pichu used to be the best character in the game. Is not anymore. A tier. No, B tier. B tier below Falco. I don't think Pichu is that good anymore. However, Pikachu... I definitely see, I mean, I see a lot of ESAM, but I don't think that puts him in S. I honestly don't see him in S. I see him in A. I see him at top of A. Um, I know a lot of people are going to disagree with me when I say that, but I just, I think that Pichu is, a, or Pikachu, is a character that is completely different from Pichu. Overall, it's completely different. Um, I know you're probably going to agree with that because that's literally, a, they're not even Echoes. Um, we Fit Trainer, recent buff, I'd probably put her in like B, but she's a C. She's just C, like, probably above Ridley. She's not good. She's not a good character. I wouldn't recommend it. Rosalina and Luma, same thing. C tier. Um, Probably above, no, not even above Pit. Probably above, like, Dr. Mario. Because she's not, no, even above, like, Ridley. She's not terrible, but I wouldn't recommend playing her. Versatility again, but again, it's not it's not that great. Wolf, I'm putting C tier again. Pretty self-explanatory. His side B kind of kills him sometimes. Or should I put him, put him at top of C? Because he's not terrible. He's, he's a lot like Fox and Falco, but in his own way. He could definitely be an Echo, but I think he's too different. I think he's like too different of a character, um, especially with his neutral B. Terry, last character. I have played a fair amount of Terry recently. I would probably put Terry in B tier. But put Terry in B tier, maybe above Lucina. No, probably below Lucina, honestly. Um, I think Terry is really good because of his, uh, what's, the, what's the thing called? The, 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 the KO or what? No, it's not KO, punch. it's Little Mac. Um, You know what I mean though? Like his thing that he gets after he takes about uh, 100%. I think that is what makes or breaks his character. Um, if that, that wasn't there, then that's a killing option that's completely gone. He can take back games super easily with that. So yeah, overall, I think Terry just deserves to be there. This is my tier list. I hope you liked it. Um, let me know what you guys would change. I'm sorry that this, this was two parts, just I like to talk, and I don't think an hour video would be that great. I don't think people would watch it. But yeah, um, I gotta go to a Smash tournament, so I'm gonna end the video here. If you guys did like the video, then make sure you like it and subscribe and do all that stuff. Um, let me know what you guys want to see next. Uh, obviously, I have some plans. I have some stand videos to make. Uh, I'm rewatching Death Note, so I'll make a video on that. I got a lot of stuff I want to do, but if there is something you want to see, let me know because I can't read your mind. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.